Now that we know how to run a simple sample and how it looks, let's talk about what notification features are possible on Android Wear. The first thing we can do is add extra action buttons to a notification. The user can view these actions by swiping the notification to the left. These actions are also visible on the phone notification as well, so this is not wearable specific. So you make a call to the add action method of the notification compat builder. You need to supply an icon to use, and you also need to provide a string to show underneath. And finally, you'll need to provide a pending intent for this specific action. You'll notice that this code snippet creates a pending intent that refers to a location. So it would open up a mapping application to display this on the phone. It is important to realize that notifications created on the phone always cause the intent to run on the phone as well, not the wearable. It's also possible to have different actions appear on the wearable device compared to the actions on the phone. To do this, we introduce a class called wearable extender for wearable specific features we want to use. We use the extend method of notification compat.builder and pass in the new wearable extender object. With wearable extender, we call add action here to add the wearable specific action, which is defined here. Note that when you use add action with the wearable extender, none of the regular add action calls will be shown on the wearable and none of the wearable add action calls will be shown on the phone. They're decoupled from each other now.